Hey, I'm Smirk here, and your kinder has recently been running a really powerful take on the T set of Nuke with Liquid, where they can easily gain outside control and manipulate the map. This play can open up so many avenues, as you can look into heaven, hell, ramp, or even just use it as a fake. But want to get individual training and CS classes for 30 days for 50 cents on your first month? Affirmative. Well, thanks to today's sponsor, Gosu Academy, you can. Yes, my friends, yes! Gosu Academy is the CS school where you can join frequent classes hosted by various pro players and coaches. In these classes, you can submit demos in the Discord to be reviewed and critiqued by the coaches, or join them in theory sessions on a map. And I will also be hosting some of these sessions myself. <laughs> On top of this, they host weekly scrims where you can jump into a 5v5 with coaches on both teams, helping you during and after the game. Our enemies tremble. This entire course is $29 per month, but again, you can try the course for pretty much free for 30 days by using code SMOKY at checkout, which equates to 12 classes. Now go on and rank up. Generally when Liquid want to use this take, they will traditionally do outside smokes. This allows players like Elige and Nitro to get down into lower, creating pressure and forcing rotations from the CT side. Once the smokes are gone, that is when part 2 will initiate. Yukinda will go on top of main and get ready to do his util. Yukinda will smoke off main, maybe molly credit, Naf will smoke off lockers, and once all the utils down, Yukinda jumps out into ice cube, Nitro lurks into garage, and they take outside control. Once Team Liquid do the outside smokes, and they're down lower, Yakinda will jump on top of main, wait for a little second just in case someone peeks, and then start to do his util. He will first smoke off main by aiming above this blue box, aiming in line with his vent, and run and left click throwing. Once Naf has done his smoke for lockers, he will flash sky high that should affect anyone outside and towards CT, allowing him to jump to ice cube. And these smokes will heavily restrict the CT's visibility and information. At this point, Yakinda is down and looks towards ice cube, slowly making his way through, making sure to clear his angles. At this point, Yakinda could go to hell, he could go through heaven, or he could return back to main. It's up to him. But in this round, he goes up to heaven, where he does sadly die from lower. Naf is going to be doing the locker smoke, and to make sure that he's in position, he's just going to be playing on top of T roof, waiting for a CT to push. Once he's ready, he will line himself in line with this wall, put his cross out at the bottom of this mark, and jump throw. This smoke will restrict the CT's visibility. And lastly for Nitro. Nitro helped Elige get down towards lower and is just going to leave him there. From Yakinda's flashbang, Nitro can just peek out, clear garage, and hunt for any CTs. They also ran this tick in round 18, where Yakinda will also combine this with a Molotov for credit, restricting where the CTs can play. At this point, again, he goes with the flashbangs and makes his way towards heaven, with Nitro following the same pathing. At this point, they do get into some fights, however, the trades go back and forth, and eventually, also he can get the bomb down on air. <laughs> 